Domer in Birmingham. Domer, Domer, you are you not happy today? What's wrong? Well, check this out, man. I, you know, I live in Birmingham. I'm kind of an enemy behind the lines here, Notre Dame fan. But I can't, I've been hearing all week that y'all been calling and talking about how great of a team they are, and they were robbed against uh, Ole Miss. And, and I just think it's kind of funny how people like to ignore the statistical facts. And the statistical facts are that Blake Kiffin is not a very good offensive coordinator. As of right now, Alabama is ranked 45th in the country on third down conversions. That is worse than Auburn. So all these Alabama fans are going to call in and make fun of Jeremy Johnson. Auburn has better third down conversion than your Crimson Tide with Lane Kiffin, which is supposed to be this great offensive coordinator. The fact is that Alabama has no identity whatsoever. They, they, they don't know what they're doing. Lane Kiffin is trying to use – he builds his offense around a passing quarterback, and Alabama doesn't have a passing quarterback. They should be running the ball down people's throat until somebody proves they can stop it. It was a perfect example. After all that stuff happened against Ole Miss last week, they had the ball with three minutes left to go. You put together a drive, run the ball down Ole Miss's throat, which was gas, and you can win the game. But what did he do? He come out throwing. And when I bring this up, I keep hearing about everybody saying, well, look how great he did last year. Last year, University of Alabama played three defenses that ranked in the top 20, which was LSU, Arkansas, and Ole Miss. Against LSU, Alabama had the least amount of yards of any of LSU's opponents, all 12. Against Ole Miss, Alabama had the least amount of yardage of all of LSU's opponents. Well, all 12. And against Arkansas, there was only two teams that had less yards than Alabama did, and that was UAB and Texas. The fact is that when Lane Kiffin plays good defenses, his, his offense is very average. It's still that way at Tennessee, and it was that way when he's head coach at USC. So I, I just don't see how we're talking about Lane Kiffin. If Lane Kiffin needs to be fired, it's on based off what he's doing on the field, not all these rumors off the field. What do you think about that? Well, here, here, here's the deal. The fact of the matter is, is a year ago, Alabama had Blake Sims, a quarterback, who had a phenomenal year, and they had Amari Cooper, and that's made a whale of difference. Nick Saban all year has been talking about recapturing Alabama's identity. I, and their identity, the way he defines it, is running the ball and wearing people down. When they play Louisiana Monroe tomorrow, it, to me it's going to be really interesting to see how much they run the ball to start getting ready for that game at Georgia. Appreciate the call, Domer. Take care. Daniel and Waycross. What, what's going on, Daniel? Hey, how you doing, Tony? Oh, it's Fine Bomb Friday. It's great. Great, great. What, what I want to talk about is the guy that was just on Domer, I agree with everything he said. Uh, so I'm you're not a big you're not a big well, you're not a big Lane Kiffin fan, is what you're saying? No, no, I, I'm an Alabama fan. I live in Georgia, but I'm an Alabama fan. But I'm not a Lane Kiffin fan. But uh, I agree with what, everything he said. But, uh, but 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 didn't you didn't you love him a year ago when they're when they're lighting up the scoreboard? Well, not not particularly because I, I knew what was going on. I mean, he had he had a decent quarterback and a, and a world class wide receiver. But what I'm, uh, what I also want to talk about is 